Yeah, hi everyone. It's um, ePower DC here, and uh, today just going to have a look at the Gerard Morin motor. And um, I found out that uh, Gerard's theory about electric being RF. Um, I found out that I believe it uh, it is RF or partly <laughs> partly RF. It's it's a bit hard getting your head around all this, but I'm just going to show you the setup which I've set up to replicate um, the the motor. I've um, got a power supply uh, instead of batteries for now. It's a bit more convenient. Um, we've, I've got two two pump motors here. I'm using um, one with a, a large um, DC motor on. I think this is 24 volts and um, I'm supplying the setting at about, uh, at about 25 volts at the moment so um, that's just for test purposes and then the connections go through to a transformer this is a transformer which I got from America which is um, it's a 101 110 volt transformer um, and I'm using it on the powered by the little um, washing machine motor here um, the um, the circuit is a looped circuit which comes from the um, 10,000 volt transformer through to a spark gap and then there's a spark gap and then the loop goes back into a um, a light which is uh, I think it's um, 1000 watt uh, sodium uh, lamp which I got from China um, and then we get to the heart of the matter uh, I don't know whether you can see here but I've just wrapped some copper wire around the the tube so it's a very simple copper wire it's just ordinary uh, copper wire and then I've linked it up to a wire which comes all the way here and it goes to a red wire and then it goes across the workshop floor and it goes up into the roof and um, I've set up a connection to a type of aerial it's just al aluminium foil with a connection at the bottom there okay so what we're going to do now is uh, switch the power on so the the motor's running it's uh, 20 25 volts on a 24 volt motor driving the pump and it's uh, going through the spark gap there you may not be able to see the the spark there at the spark gap i don't know i'm doing my best to show it to you Okay, and then um, here's the electron stream going through the, the tube, yeah, okay, and now I'm just going to get um, the uh, tester, the bleeper, yeah, so right, here we go, I'm going to put it, obviously, the, that's the spark gap, yeah okay okay now then I'm, I'm i'm going to trace the the wire now to that aerial that i've put up uh just just so as you know what's going on here at the this um copper coil here there's no connection with the electric at all it's just wrapped around the glass the the copper wire is just wrapped around the glass so there's no physical connection so I think this proves that what's happening here, there's some RF going on. So let's just have a look here with the... As you can see, this is live. Uh, just try it here on the floor. Yep. As it goes up the wall here, I've just wrapped it around the screw. And now to the antennae. It's raining this morning, so you can probably hear the rain. 
there's the there's the connection there at the bottom and there's the antennae. And as you can see, it's all live. Yeah? Now then, all the budding electricians, yeah? I just tested that for live. But look, I can hold it. I'm getting no shock at all. So what's happening here? Yeah? The wire, the antenna. So it it proves. I think this proves that what's happening here. It proves that it's RF. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. But. Um, if you can see where I'm going with it, this uh, setup here, with the lamp, with the thousand watt lamp, if you can see where I'm going, it's very, very interesting that, um, you know, we're, we're getting, I mean, it's supposed to be live, but it's not live. I mean, I can, I can grab hold of this and it's showing hot, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting any shocks at all. Okay, uh, that's it for now and um, I hope you like the video.